Hello, I'm Merle 83. Oh, I'm Merle 83. Um, excuse me. I am Merle 83, and welcome to my body shading tutorial for a shading template. Um, we're going from this today to this. So, this is my liner at 100%. Um, open up your layers dialog. I won't explain that because you should already know. At least I think you should already know. Here we go. Um, you need to open a new layer that can be done with this new layer button down here or right clicking on a layer and going to new layer. Okay. Shading. Name your layer something, I don't care, leave the width and the height alone, I name my layer shading, you want, the most important thing of all of this, is that your layer fill type is on transparency, and then you can click OK, sorry for all the jumpy stuff, I don't need that one, since I already need one, ok, we're good, now, select your background layer, we're going to color something, so we can use these colors, we can use these colors. We need colors on our liner so we can see where we're putting our highlights because you can't highlight on white. You can't see it. Um, and shading also tends to get really dark on white. Um, so we take the best color I found. The best two colors are this blue color. The HTML notation code is 8D7EFF. 8D7EFF, and then this red color is FF5F5F, so two Fs, a 5, an F, a 5, and an F. Hopefully you caught that. There are also two other colors you can use. We might be using those in a later tutorial. So, I, okay, the blue color is good for body colors. You want to be on your background layer, right here, make sure, just click on it and take your bucket fill tool the shortcut is shift B and fill your line art um, markings or, or hair can be filled with this the other color the red reddish color and now um, take your select tool up at the top here you can see that the um, shortcut for it is Z um, select the main part that you're going to be shading and make sure your foreground and background colors are white and black. You can do that by just hitting this small thing that says white and black right here or you, you can hit this button here. Um, it switches the foreground and background colors. That'll be very helpful while actually shading. Um, so we've selected our animal creature thing. Um, on the background layer. Do not select it on the shading layer, otherwise you'll select your whole entire picture. So, click on your shading layer now. Um, click on your paintbrush tool. The shortcut for this is P, actually. Um, if you double click on that, a tool options um, dialog will come up. And the opacity at the top, put it on something around 12.2. I like to use 12.2 because I've been shading with it for a long time. Um, and you're going to want your brush, your actual brush brush, you're going to want a circle. You can make a new one for this. It, you probably won't have one large enough to fit comfortably onto your liner. If your liner is larger. Um, I use for my shading, actual shading, a 25.5 brush with 64 hardness. Everything else you can just leave unless your spacing is over 20. You want your spacing to be 20 or under. I usually just keep mine at 20. Now go back to your layers dialog. Make sure your shading is selected and you have your um, over here, you have your picture selected. Can you guys see the... I'm not sure if you can see that, outside around it is moving. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. It's moving. That means that part of it's selected. Sometimes it won't do that, depending on your picture and how big it is. Um, 
just because. Now, start shading. Um, you want to find a good spot to start. I found a good spot for beginners to start is right here, up the jaw. Um, once you're more experienced, you can start practically anywhere. Just, if you don't have a tablet, go like this along the edges of your thing and start like way out here. Well, not really way out there, but um, start with that. Start with like out here and then go forward, go recede back into your um, actual line. And you'll create a really nice effect there. Um, for actual shading, you want to pick one light source. I ha even have a problem with this. I usually have two light sources, or either that is coming straight from overhead. But, excuse me, um, I usually have two light sources, one co from the coming this way and one from coming this way. It's not the best thing to do. Um, it really isn't the best thing to do, so... I would suggest picking one light source. I like to have my main light source coming from away from where our character is looking. So in this case, my light source would be coming from up in this corner here. Um, you always want to pick an up corner, right or left. Never down corner because the light usually doesn't come from down. And it looks rather odd to have your belly highlighted. Um, so. That's the shading part. You always want to do your shading first. For beginners, always shade first. Um, as you get more experience, you can shade and highlight practically at the same time. So you can like add a little bit of shading, switch them, and go to highlighting like this. Um, I have a tablet, so it's much easier for me to move or rip my mouse around for this, but if you don't, you can still do this. I started doing this when I just had my mouse. So you can do anything you want to. And for highlights, um, you want to be a little um, less generous with your highlights, but not just snizzle. Whoops. Um, not by much. Just be a little more light on it, I guess you could say. Um, and with things like this, I have my head selected and my body selected. And if you're not careful, you can just go straight into your head with your, sh your highlighting or whatever you're doing. But since I'm highlighting here anyway, I can, I don't have to be as careful, but you do really want to be careful for that. And again, as I said, same thing with your, with your um, shading, just recede start farther away from your line and recede back up into your line if you can understand that um, there we go there uh -huh. so basically as you do more strokes get closer to your line um, for a while it might be extremely hard to figure out where your shading should go um, I had an extremely hard time trying to figure out where my shading should go um, just think of it as, okay, where does the light strike? Um, and where, like, if the light strikes this way, the light will strike the top of my tail and right here, all over there. Maybe there might be a little bit of shading there, but I don't usually don't pay that much detail to. At least not for something like this type of liner. Um, um, my nose would be, um, it's hitting straight on to the light basically so the most thing that would be highlighted would be right there on the top of the nose um, but underneath your chin would be extremely dark because there's practically no light hitting underneath here um, if you mess up just hit control Z or you can open your undo history dialog and once you're all done that Take your 